Hey, how's it going? It's Devin with Devin's Card House, and here we are today to talk about a little drama. Drama, drama. Everybody loves drama, or they don't, or they pret- <coughs> or they pretend to not love drama. Who, who actually doesn't love drama? You, like, do you like watching shows without any drama? So I say, it's like, no. On here, on this online community, we don't like drama. We we are higher. Our uh, our consciousness is above any sort of drama. What is it they say? Uh, 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 intelligent people talk about ideas. Um, stupid people talk about people or drama. Welcome to the channel. Welcome to stupid. So we love talk about drama. Um, that's what makes things interesting, you know? It's like, oh, we're not going to talk about other... Con- I listened to some, like, uh, content creator the other day who's like, I don't like to talk about other content creators because it can be uh, taken as negative or whatever. It's just like, <coughs> well, I don't want to be an asshole to people, but if something interesting is going on, I'm going to talk about it. And if it's negative, it's negative. So be it. That's on you. If I do something stupid, you know, I hope uh, everyone talks about it. So I get that drama. Sweet, sweet drama. Anyways... Devin's Card House. We are here to talk about Legend Story Studios and um, what seems to be an ongoing uh, issue that they have with the content creator community um, uh, with banning people, with making people feel uncomfortable, with uh, people self censoring uh, what they have to say because this company is soft. It's soft. Sorry, to forget I did that. That's my Enzo Amore. If you know, it's S A W F T. Soft. They're soft. They uh, they can't take any criticism. Is w- is what it seems like. So <clears throat> this drama, at least for me, it starts. Uh, uh, well, it starts a year ago. Uh, basically, um, when George and Louie from May the Zoo Be With You podcast, and I guess Josh gets in, uh, into this a little bit later, uh, got banned by LSS for some of the softest reasoning I have ever seen. Like, uh, think of all the smack that gets talked online. And here's, we got to stick, stick up for Wizards of the Coast. They're at least not, like, contacting people through uh, DMs and talking shitty to them or threatening them or banning them because they have uh, bad opinions on them. Like, if Wizards can take the non-stop uh, onslaught of bullshit that people are constantly throwing at them, LSS, LSS do you think you could take a little, a little criticism? Because that's what this is. So... So the drama starts back there <clears throat> with uh, the made the zoo be with you guys getting banned, but then uh, the new drama that brings up this drama again is happened recently with uh, the Rudy deleted video. So there was a lot of speculation going along uh, on online about why Rudy took the video offline. He um, he particularly he went on there and he was uh, shit talking Metazoo <coughs> and Flesh and Blood mostly. And people were like speculating that, oh, he took the video down because the companies reached out to him and then they were able to resolve their differences. And so he took down the video. That's the one I read. Um, the other one I read is that Rudy was just heinous on the video and he lost his mind and he was insane. And <laughs> it was like, dumb, Rudy. OK, so you uh, I rewatched the video. You can find the video if you look for it now. It's um, if you just look for uh, a depressing video, part one deleted, it'll just come up on YouTube. Or if you're a patron, he actually uh, linked the video in his patron uh, uh, account so you can actually go watch it there. He took it down because uh, what he says is that a lot of people got their feelings hurt, uh, people that he cares about. And uh, so he didn't want to uh, leave that up there for uh, people who uh, he was hurting their he hurting their feelings. And he didn't. Uh, he says he doesn't. Uh, he didn't really know how people are going to react to his videos when he make them. So when I watched that video, it was not okay. Rudy was not acting insane because I was expecting Rudy to like lose his shit. There's a couple things that Rudy is doing here a little bit differently. Like Rudy never really, at least until recently. He never really talked about getting more patrons. And uh, this is where he's like actively seeking out patrons, which is a new thing for Rudy. It seemed like it was kind of Rudy's thing to be like, fuck you. Uh, if you're not in the uh, Patreon uh, account, then uh, uh, then we don't need you. So this is the first time I've ever heard him actively trying to get more patrons. Um, 
I'm not, and everyone's speculating like, oh, Rudy's about to, he, he's about to go out of business. He's about to lose it all. Like people are saying the craziest shit online. Like if you know anything about Rudy, okay, the dude's got no debt. He's got like um, uh, a bunch of apartment complexes that he rents out and houses that he owns. Um, tons of old school reserve lists and, uh, you know, stuff that he bought uh, on the cheap years and years ago. The dude is still in the black. Um, I don't, I'm not really worried about him for all the new products that are uh, still behind. And if there's any sort of uptick, Rudy's going to be doing fine. So anyways, uh, Rudy makes this video. Uh, he takes it down because people at LSS are getting their feelings hurt. And there, what he says uh, uh, from his message, and I'll read it here in a second, is that uh, uh, they're closing their patron accounts and they're sending him shitty messages about um, him talking shit. But I was like, what did he say on there? What did he say in the video? I uh, And I recommend that you watch the video just to kind of get an idea. But Rudy doesn't do anything that crazy. He doesn't say anything that crazy. He doesn't say anything that's not true. Like, when he talks about the pricing of uh, Flesh and Blood uh, booster boxes, since, uh, you know, Tales of Aria or Everfest, uh, none of them have, me have met uh, map pricing. None of them are up around 80 bucks. Let's see here. <clears throat> Dust Till Dawn is at 70. Uh, Dynasty, that's at 80. I mean, so that's doing okay. Uh, the Welcome to Wraith, think about this. Unlimited booster boxes are still 70 bucks. Oh, that's depressing, right? Um, Bright Lights, they're 70. Uh, Outsiders is 67. And Uprising is 67. So uh, all of these are... If you had bought any of these around uh, when they released, it, you would have done, You if you had just held your money, not bought the boxes and waited for them to drop, then you would have, uh, then that would have been the right thing to do. Buying the boxes at a retail price at MSRP when they released is, they're all failing. And so uh, Rudy's whole point is not that these products are bad or that the art is bad or that the game is bad. In fact, he constantly says that the game is good. The art is the best. He's constantly on here saying good things about flesh and blood. It's just the print runs that the print runs are too high. You got to think that uh, the the player blade uh, player beliefs the the player base for Flesh and Blood is not as ginormous as Magic the Gathering. And so to be doing print runs on the same level as Magic the Gathering, you're going to be crushing your boxes for years. There's no reason that Welcome to Wraith or... Uh, we were seeing Everfest pri uh, prices of Booster Box down to $45. <coughs> that was just like the overprinting era. And that's when... Rudy was getting on here daily and like um, saying uh, to the community, to the to the, to the to the TCG community, anybody with a printer, stop overprinting. Stop it. You're going to do this. You are going to wreck the market. And it was obvious as the economy was like on fire and then everybody's talking about a recession. Everybody's talking about things coming down. And what, is, what, what do these trading card companies do? What does LSS do? What does Wizards of the Coast do? What has the Pokemon company done? What are they doing? They're fucking up in the print run. So the economy's going like this and the print runs are going like this. Like, I can't do it. It's insane. And it's obvious. It's obvious that they're making a mistake. And I think Rudy was just trying to tell everybody what the obvious thing. Stop overprinting. You should see some accumulation. The, the, the prices of the booster boxes should have a gradual rise over time. Seeing Welcome to Wraith unlimited booster boxes around $70 still is fucking insane. And it's not right. They overprinted. And that's not, and no one should be getting their feelings hurt about that. If that makes your feet, if that hurts your feelings, you have a problem. There's something wrong with you. There's obviously, like, you are emotionally attached to a print run. <coughs> I mean, only people who should be upset about that are the people who paid MSRP and watched the, <coughs> the value of their boxes fucking tank because you overprinted it. Those are the only people who are allowed to have an emotional uh, feeling about this, okay? That's it. Anyways... So enough people, I, mean, I don't want to speculate too hard on like who Rudy is uh, 
trying to save their feelings here because somebody got their feelings hurt. And from what I watched the video, Rudy does not freak out. Rudy doesn't act insane. Rudy isn't being, uh, uh, there's not, there's other video I've seen, other videos of Rudy I've seen where he's acted way crazier, or, um, had way more emotions about things. And so people acting like this secret hidden video is just Rudy going insane or just fucking wrong. And, um, and if whoever got their feelings hurt here, it's, I, uh, I'm sorry that reality hurts your feelings, you know, but facts don't, facts don't care about your feelings, okay? They don't. There, okay? Um, <coughs> so I'm going to read a little excerpt here from, um, from Rudy. So, uh, and this is from his Patreon, and he said he expected this to be leaked everywhere. He said that he expected this to go everywhere. So even though this is from the Patreon account, he expected this to go everywhere, so I don't feel bad that I'm reading it to you now, because he says he expected it. So when he says he expected it, I, um, I'm thinking that he's uh, saying it's okay that I read this right now. So, and if I got that wrong, let me know, Rudy, I'll take it down. Okay, <laughs> whatever. I released yesterday's uh, depressing video expressing my frustrations in slow declines across the board in MTG, Pokemon, Flesh and Blood, and MetaZoo. Legend Story Studios, the studio that um, creates uh, Flesh and Blood, became extremely angry with me due to the Flesh and Blood section of that YouTube video. This also caused employees at LSS to close their patron accounts due to the negative video on the overall industry, including LSS and Flesh and Blood. <coughs> I chose to delete the video from YouTube as the anger from LSS was far more severe than ever imagined. I've not heard back from LSS at this point in time, and I don't know if they're going to want to work with me moving forward due to my negativity on all the overall market, including flesh and blood. I feel the public's perspective on card prices and reprint policies have shifted so uh, dra dramatically in the last two years. Most opinions on social media have been begging for the banning and removal of Rudy. This has already been attempted in MTG, uh, well, Pokemon, and Weiss. I expect this to continue with Flesh and Blood until successful. I estimate I have two to three years before this shifts to Sorcery TCG, and I wouldn't bet on that, Rudy. I bet they're coming for you sooner than that, buddy. In the long enough time frame, I do believe the loud voices online will get uh, their wish and succeed. I hope LSS chooses to still work with me and allow me to continue unique cards and fun promos in the future. I hope to have a long-term uh, relationship and do cool shit for many years. If I get any updates from James White uh, and, or LSS, I will inform patrons with the future of Flesh and Blood will be on here. So he's uh, waiting to hear back from them, and I hope he does. I hope, um, I hope whoever is running uh, there, um, you know, and it's probably not James uh, White, um, and whoever's running their interaction, whoever uh, does their interaction with uh, the content creator community, the YouTube uh, creators, the whatever, uh, I just feel they need to um, toughen up a little bit, guys. Look over, like I said, look over at what people are saying about Magic the Gathering. If you can't handle even like a, a little pinch of that salt, you're in the wrong business. And you probably shouldn't be uh, the one interacting with the content creator community. Whoever you are, the, pre the person who is banning these people, the person who is writing these angry emails, the person who is acting like a small little child, because that's what you are, um, you are <laughs> not in the right position. And uh, you're fucking up. <clears throat> what should be um, a good uh, relationship with people online who are literally your fans. It's sad to go watch, and I recommend that if you're interested in this drama at all, go back and watch uh, Louie and George's, uh, George's uh, May the Zoo Be With You podcast. If you just type in um, uh, Louie and George get banned from LSS, uh, it'll come up, but it's their uh, podcast about them getting banned. And even when those guys talk about it today, they're just sad. Like, I don't think I would be fucking sad if I got a message from one of these assholes. And please feel free to send me a message. I would love to bring it up here and uh, talk about it on here. And um, if you're uh, getting, uh, <laughs> if you're th sending threatening uh, messages to people over uh, their speculation on print runs, please, because uh, it's not even a speculation. You guys overprinted the shit out of fucking everything. Uh, that's not speculation, okay? It's just obvious from the prices of your booster boxes. Um, <coughs> please threaten me, and so I can uh, talk about it here. I'd love to continue this drama, so... 
but it's just sad to watch George and Louis and, um, you know, even Josh talks about a little bit on their podcast today, just about um, how sad they are about uh, losing their relationship with uh, with LSS, with uh, talking about flesh and blood, and they don't even want to talk about it. And that's their whole goal moving forward is just to, to forget flesh and blood exists. And that's not good for the game. Okay, guys? That's not good. Um, having, you know, uh, content creators out here who are actively uh, going against your game because we need flesh and blood, okay? Flesh and blood as an important place to play in this community, um, standing uh, hand in hand with all these other TCGs against, you know, uh, the might that is Wizards of the Coast, that is Magic the Gathering. We need you. And we need to all be on the same page. And I would appreciate uh, if whoever is doing this uh, on the LSS side, I hope they have a change of heart. And I hope they look inside. I hope that they see here that people talking about print runs, even if they're wrong, even if they're, and it, guess what? That's, it's not harmful, okay? Well, <laughs> what's harmful is overprinting your boxes, okay? That's harmful. That's harmful for the stores. You can't blame, okay, you can't get on here and start blaming the content creators for speculating about you overprinting when your box, the prices of your boxes crash. That's not on the content creators. That's on you. And if you're like worried, oh, it's harming uh, the the stores that uh, purchase uh, uh, that purchase flesh and blood because the prices of their boxes are tanking because all these content creators are going on here and speculating. Fuck you. Fuck you. <laughs> That's just so dumb. That's so shitty. Um, and I hope you have a, a change of heart. I hope you look inside. I hope you uh, go to the gym, do a couple reps and get hard because you're soft. Okay. You're soft. And we don't need soft people here um, ruining uh, relationships with content creators and people online who are trying to help your game. Who love your game, who are sad. Because I tell you, if you did this to me, I wouldn't be sad, okay? I'd be telling you to fuck off and I'd be uh, kind of upset. <laughs> or maybe not upset. Maybe I just think it was funny. I would not be sad. I'll tell you that. So please message me and uh, I would love to uh, share that w your message here online with everybody else. For me, like, uh, I've, I'm still going to talk about flesh and blood. I, I, I don't think this should be an adversarial thing. And I know I'm sounding adversarial at the moment. I'm telling you to go to the gym. I'm telling you to get hard because you're soft. Um, but that, that's not what I'm trying to do here. What I'm trying to do here is we sit, like, I'm trying to give you a little tough love. I'm trying to say we need to come together um, as uh, the company and as the content creators. I think y'all need to revisit this. I think uh, y'all need to send a letter to George. Y'all need to send a letter to Louie. Y'all need to send a letter to Josh. Y'all need to send a letter to Rudy and say we're sorry. And say, hey, like, hey, we overstepped our bounds here. Um, uh, we never should have banned you. We never should have uh, come at you angry. Uh, we're listening to your concerns and we're addressing them. That's what you need to do. Or you need to say, we listen to your concerns and I have points A, B, and C, you're wrong. And, um, and that's a step forward too. You know, but these box prices prove that they're not wrong. At, at the current time, you are overprinting for the community that, uh, that exists for your game. That's it. That's a, that's a, that's that doesn't I don't even need to know the print run numbers. I can just look at the boxes that were printed five years ago and be like, they're less than MSRP. Y'all are fucking up. That's as, as, as easy as it goes. Um, that's it for me. That is the drama today. Fun drama. Uh, I'd like to, you know, I wish we all uh, get over the, even though drama's fun, it, it is good to recognize the drama and move on. So um, I hope uh, there is some healing that takes place here. And uh, um, I hope there's some weight lifting and some, uh, some hardness that comes here. Okay. We need to get hard. <clears throat> and that's, uh, that's another thing I want to talk about is like these Pokemon YouTubers. They're all hard. The, the alpha Pokemon YouTubers and like every other Pokemon because I've just started watching Pokemon YouTubers and every other one is like I lift weights in Pokemon like uh, it, it was like maybe I should start doing that like I I go to the gym and I uh, like Lorcana Mickey Mouse is cool <coughs> and I need a backwards hat God I need a backwards hat that's what's missing on the channel. Anyways, that's the drama. That's uh, uh, that's it for me. I hope you guys have a great Friday, a great rest of your week. Um, uh, I want to say thank you. 
thank you to my patrons. I want to say thank you for my subscribers and thank you for watching. Um, and uh, I want, yeah, I want to thank Flesh and Blood. It's a great game. I've always enjoyed it. Um, I this uh, this weirdness with this uh, drama online is just a. Uh, it's just that. It's that's what it is. It's just weird, and so it needs to be dropped. So y'all squash the beef, okay? Squash it. Okay, I'll talk to y'all later. You have a great day. Okay, bye. Governor Jesse Ventura, to send you, Devin, a little bit of a message, my friend. You need to quit slacking. You, I heard lately, have been skipping your workouts. What's going on, my man? You want to turn into a little fat porker? <laughs> <laughs>